Okay, let us go through one uh, framework and we are we are actually trying to integrate uh, Cucumber with JavaScript and then later on uh, we will be seeing you know how to format the outputs before and after hooks for Cucumber um, integrate selenium with Cucumber plus JavaScript that is the basic uh, goal of you know writing a Cucumber uh, Gherkin scenario obviously we need to tag in with selenium async awaits um, the timeouts wherever it's required and uh, basic re refactoring of the uh, framework okay um, in order to do that I am I am gonna create a, a simple directory let's say practice selenium js selenium cucumber right cd and we come here uh, we have nothing inside it so the first thing first okay um, few things that you require to actually run JavaScript. Um, the first one is Node.js. So I already have installed Node on my system. This is uh, version 16.1.0, and you need to have npm. Um, that is Node Package Manager. The version is 7.1.11.2. Now, in, a, in order to install Node or Node.js, you can just do a brew install, uh, no, install Node.js or npm node this is this is it uh, this would actually install uh, node.js in your system okay now seeing that you already have this two setups on your on your system let's you know go ahead with the next flow so inside this uh, directory you see there is nothing uh, there so first thing that I'm going to do is uh, npm um, I n i t y that is the forceful saying yes this would actually create a package.json file. So if I do a ls here, you can see a package.json file has been created. Okay, so um, let us go. Let us go and open this uh, folder in a particular um, whatever ID you like. I am using WebStorm. So here, if you see here uh, inside inside this particular folder, we only have package.json, right? And <coughs> we are mainly focused into the scripts here. So um, I'm going to remove everything from here for now. Okay. Now we have to install um, Cucumber. So in order to install Cucumber, um, the best way to do it is actually following the um, package installer. So if I come here, I am inside this. Um, I am in this particular website npmjs.com, wherein you can see all the you know you can have you can actually import all the uh, different packages that Node uh, Node gives you. So for Cucumber, I am using this particular package. Okay. So here um, they already give you give, and give, gives you this particular line and you can copy this line here put it here this would install uh, install cucumber on your system cucumber package on your system so now if I get inside your package dot uh, json file you can see that uh, under the dependencies there is something called cucumber at the red cucumber so and also whenever we do an npm uh, install it creates a node modules directory under which you you can have all the you know all the uh, dependencies and the binary files over here so we are interested more into you know uh, using this particular cucumber dot cucumber js right so how are we going to use this okay so now we, now that we have uh, we have actually imported or installed that uh, cucumber package we would like to see now let's create a, a framework uh, a particular directory structure for cucumber so basically go into the root directory create a directory called uh, feature right or features and inside features create one more directory call it as step definition definitions okay and inside feature you can write a file you can actually create a file called test dot feature right now this is a normal uh, gherkin or uh, cucumber feature file we can just write a feature for 
let's let's write a feature called you know adding two numbers adding two numbers and scenario scenario is same adding two numbers I say when I add two and five then the result should be seven cool this is your feature file now uh, we have to actually call this feature file uh, from from our package.json script uh, tag so here you can you can you know in order to call call that we are interested in uh, we are actually using this uh, binary file a cucumber js binary file which is inside here so how do we call that we just say node modules node module slash dot bin slash cucumber js and then our features slash test dot feature okay now let's see uh, what happens if we run this i'm going to clear it i am going to say npm run and since we have we named it as test we are going to run it with test npm run test now this runs and it says that fine i got your feature file but i am not able to understand what is when uh, when i add 2 and 5 so in order to you know you know to make me understand please implement these steps so when i add so i'm going to copy this these are called step definitions so i'm going to put inside the step definition folder i say new file and i say you know custom steps dot js since it's javascript i'm going to copy it remove this in fact remove the return um, then i go here copy the other part and then again i would say okay now what happens if i run let's see okay now it says that when is not defined this is because your custom.js file custom steps.js file doesn't understand when and then so we need to import this from somewhere i am going to we are going to use so i'm going to use this constant is equal to required um, sorry we're getting from cucumber okay now what do we want we want a when comma we want a then right now let's run it once again okay now you see that your feature files are actually running um, we we see that one scenario passed there were two steps in it so one scenario two steps one scenario two steps right these are this is the scenario and these are the steps okay now uh, let's implement this let's complete the addition so i say let sum is equal to zero and then i say sum is equal to int plus int2 um, so you can you can actually you know you can give names to this you know like number one and number two number two and in that way you have to put here number one number two okay now the result should be uh, should be int again like you know we can say this as um, result right I'm gonna use there are a lot of assertion libraries I'm gonna use uh, expect from shy um, so in order to do that we have to install uh, shy again the similar way the same way I'm gonna follow uh, so if you come here search in for chai so this is an assertion library as you can see in order to install it we just do npm install save dev that's that's here chai this will install chai and now we can say const keep it empty is equal to require what i require chai okay now what do we want here we want expect right this now we say um, i'm expecting so expecting my sum 
dot equals to result now let's run it okay both the scenarios have passed obviously it would pass because um, we have given the correct expected output let's change 7 to 6 and let's see what happens it says that we were, <coughs> we were expecting uh, we were expecting uh, 6 but we got 7 so we're gonna change this to 7 back again and this would run perfectly fine okay this is now uh, we have achieved you know uh, cucumber with uh, you know cucumber with uh, JavaScript so our first part uh, is is over kind of over like you know integrating cucumber with javascript second is formatting outputs okay now when we run cucumber uh, from you know cucumber js we are running the, that command you can see that uh, you get a dot dot over here instead of you know feature and then the entire feature file you know printed so we can have a pretty way of actually printing that which is actually the format options uh, for that we're going to install a pretty formatter from cucumber so i'm, I'm going to use this package cucumber P -R -E -T -T -Y, pretty formatter yeah this is the one and in order to install it again we say install save dev pretty formatter right cool now um what you can do is we come here inside the package.json file wherever we are using this cucumber js command we need to specify what formatting we want to use so we say like we want pretty pretty format so it comes from cucumber c u c u m b e r slash pretty uh, formatter right you can you can just check it over here so inside at the rate cucumber you have got pretty formatter right so now let's run this once again and see what happens here now you can see uh, feature adding to number scenario adding to number when i add and this passed right so there there, there are uh, there, there is one scenario and there are two steps for it okay now um, interestingly we have uh, we have covered the formatter option formatter option comes with lot of other you know other uh, tweaks so if you go inside it you can see you can actually put your own theme so when i say theme it's like you know we can have whatever uh, different colors you like for feature you can have your colored uh, you, you can have your scenarios colored in red so you can go and try that yeah see yep that's that's out of scope for now okay so um, formatting outputs is done let's look into before and after hooks right so uh, cucumber obviously uh, you know gives you something called before and after hooks now let me let me uh, emphasize on why do we need those hooks first of all so whenever we run a cucumber yeah, our cucumber actually uh, you know there's a feature file and then it starts reading your scenarios right and we, we tend to write our tests over here so for example i want to go to google and then i want to search for search for uh, foobar and this and that so it directly jumps into your uh, test test uh, files or your test steps right so you know uh, sometimes it happens that we we actually need something to run even before our test starts so that's when our our hooks come in picture you know for example um, we want to we want to initialize the driver even before our our test starts we want to quit the driver after our test completes so in order to do those we we can use uh, cucumber hooks so let's go and see how cucumber hooks work best way again to is to go to you know uh, your cucumber package This is chai. Your cucumber package, and and here you can see there is a repository for it, like GitHub repository. We can click here, and we will, you know, we'll get into this repository. And inside it, you can see that um, you know there are there are all the 
uh, you know customization and and how, and your installations are the here so about hooks they say like you know we can use hooks accordingly so similarly we are going to use like you know before function and then let let's let's copy this put it put it somewhere here right or even before let some let's keep it here okay before function and similarly there would be you know, after function sorry there will be something called after function so let's let's do something here called console dot log I'm inside before and similarly I say console dot log inside after okay now if I obviously again like I do not understand before and after so I need to insert this so uh, I already have this I am saying I want after and I want before okay now let's run it npm run test now you can see we have something called inside before and inside uh, inside after so that uh, that's even before your uh, your steps are executed you can see your inside before command is getting executed right the console.log okay now now that we have covered before and after um, I'm just going going on cross checking this okay the next thing is like we want to integrate selenium with whatever we have you know achieved till now so we have got you know cucumber we have got javascript we have got this gherkin file you know and now um, selenium why selenium is required it is a very silly question again but yeah selenium gives us the ab ability to interact with the browser and um, that way we can actually execute our test cases uh, basically our entire obviously our test cases are obviously our application is on the internet so we want to in, uh, access the browser and also the, also the application so in order to do that we would like to integrate selenium here so how would we do that right so similar stuff like i come here i say like i want i want the package called selenium web driver selenium web driver right this is the package it says me uh, if we want to install it we do this okay, come here I install selenium web driver right package.json would would give me selenium web driver as dependencies okay now that we have uh, you know installed selenium web driver in our local how would we use this so normal normal flow is like you know we we tend to write our scenarios in the feature file that th that those scenarios gets mapped into our uh, you know step definition file and here is where we want to actually write that um, or we want to actually build up the driver and call the driver so um, let's create a different feature file and we say that you know file search check very to dot feature okay. similar stuff search check very to on google right this is our feature let's create a scenario for it scenario search tag very to then i say like when I are uh, given, I visit Google home page, then when, sorry, when I search for tag very to, then I should see the results right similar way we're gonna run this feature file in order to run this feature file we need to go to package.json and just change the path for the feature file 
obviously you can have a different uh, script over here for that particular uh, feature file uh, we are interested in search take video feature let's go and run it um, yes it is saying that we are not able to understand right so for making it understand I'm just going to copy this um, put it here then put it here and take this put it here and remove this and remove this and remove this okay so given i visit a uh, google home page search for tech very two and then the results okay now um now that we have uh, you know this is again Gherkin we have not yet installed selenium we have installed selenium but not yet used it so we're going to see how we can actually use the driver from selenium the driver is an object that selenium uh, selenium web driver provides uh, which comes with uh, different methods uh, to interact with the dom right so um, best way to actually you know uh, learn those things and uh, you know implement those things is to follow the api the selenium web driver api so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how so selenium web driver again we want to go to the github repository right so here you can see that you know selenium obviously has been written for a lot of a uh, lot of languages we are interested for javascript right now so we go to go to this particular uh, uh, particular uh, site and and if you can if you go here you will see that you know there are a lot of a lot of uh, methods and you know uh, methods that are actually given to given uh, to use selenium in javascript so uh, the b very basic thing is like how to how do we get the driver so uh, it has given me a snippet so i'm going to use this right let me put it somewhere here okay so it's it's always good to copy things if you understand what those things are right uh, obviously before copying try to understand what what is what you are actually copying so um, for now I don't need this constants for Chrome and Firefox right I don't need uh, Chrome options fire for Firefox options okay I need the browser for Chrome now if i run if i run my um, run this file let's see what happens you know since we have already uh, you know called this driver method or uh, call this web driver method um, let's see what happens if i run npm run test okay, it says given is not defined so this is where it is not able to understand so let us let us import given again given now you can see that it has opened up our chrome browser right we have not yet interacted with the browser uh, we will be interacting it soon so now we have got this driver right so what we're gonna do is you know first of all let's convert the functions to async a s uh, y and c sorry So let us convert all the functions to async and we would use await okay now we say uh, like we have the driver we say like await driver dot um, no first of all we need to go to that home page so we say http as colon www.google.com right okay. then i search for tech verito so basically what we are trying to do is if i if i come to this place and if i say like you know, google.com i'll reach here and then i want to type something here so in order to type i have to grab this input so i have this input over here um, we can actually locate that input with the help of this name tag so i uh, name attribute sorry 
so I can say await driver dot find element by dot uh, name right name and the name is q dot send keys we're gonna send keys and we're gonna type tech verito tech verito plus this would actually simulate your enter key so um, by by this it will actually send your enter key um, okay okay we need to we need to import await from selenium web driver because it doesn't sorry you need to import buy from selenium web driver so we have this let's do it from here good right and then we want to see the results so uh, driver dot find elements so after we you know put something called tech very to so obviously we we'll get this results over here okay i see an id which is called search right let's use those use that id so we say await driver dot find element by dot id and the id name is uh, search dot get text let me return the text i say let uh, text is equal to this and let me console it console dot log text good okay, let's run this test case and see what happens so you should actually open my browser okay now um, let's see the issue here now if you see that we have something called you know function timeout and uh, the default timeout for uh, cucumber j is 5000 milliseconds we will see how can we improve this timeout so so far now we have we have actually completed you know integrating selenium uh, cucumber with javascript right we have also seen async and awaits now the next topic is timeout so in order to increase the timeout for selenium um, we would again refer the uh, refer the uh, api so in the api if you see there is something called timeout right and it says that you know you can use timeout in this fashion right with with the with the step definition you can use it so i'm going back to this and i'm saying that when i search for a driver and this needs a timeout right this is like you know giving timeout for this particular step or else if you want to uh, you know use timeout for the entire entire uh, you know globally you can actually do set default timeout this would actually change your uh, timeout from 5000 milliseconds to 60000 milliseconds right yeah so know that you should uh, not call from a hook or step this should be called globally right so um, now let's see uh, since we have already implemented timeout here npm run test just typing there it comes to this page and now boom we are able to actually see the console log for for that particular uh, tag that we used here so uh, this is this is actually giving you the console log so yes um, we have seen like how to use timeouts now uh, so basic things now you know uh, basic few things are uh, remaining like basic refactoring now if you see uh, for every driver uh, instance that has been called uh, you know your uh, your chrome driver instance instance is not closed so in order to do that uh, since we already have a before function what we would do is like you know we would say like uh, before even like my 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 case is my steps run i want to my scenarios run i want to actually initialize the driver so we say driver here let's let's remove the driver from here right and then we can say uh, let 
driver and then driver is equal to this and then after after the you can say same driver dot um, quit let's run it you will see that the chrome instances will get open and closed um, okay we we, we require a timeout for uh, google home page so let's do one thing let's let's do a, a global timeout here So in order to do that we come back here and we say like you know set default timeout we're going to use this i'm going to copy this entire thing put it here instead of where we say uh, let it be const right and then we are done we don't require timeout here we can remove this timeout right now we say please run it done right okay this was one and uh, one more refracting th that now this is this is where you can actually see the the uh, the main use of before and after uh, hooks uh, one one more thing that we can obviously do over here is you know instead of uh, calling the driver here this is basic refactoring obviously you can have a number of files as you like we can say like you know inside in, inside your feature file inside your feature directory can create a di different directory and call it support um, and inside support you can create a uh, you can create a file like driver util driver util.js and this inside this you can actually you can you can extract this and put it here right and obviously your driver uh, web driver things would come from here um, I would require by but I don't require this here so take it out and put it here right and then I saw something like exports exports dot uh, give uh, init init driver and uh, here I we are and this would um, init driver this would give me I'm gonna put it inside this and I say I return the driver okay now let's go back here um, I I need to you know import it from that file so I say const and similar way we say require require dot dot slash support slash driver utils and what do i require i require uh, any driver and this any driver i can call in the before function right and i say like driver driver is equal to any driver so this is one of the basic refactoring that we can obviously do you know and just uh, segregated the um, segregated the initialization of driver in a different folder and we have actually put it into the support so let's see you know uh, how this obviously this would work um, running the file once again cool so uh, that actually completes the entire um, entire the tutorial so we have like you know done some basic refactoring so finally we we achieved something you know we achieved uh, uh, cucumber we achieved cucumber with javascript we, we we kind of like integrated selenium with cucumber javascript um, i hope this tutorial would help you a lot in you know building up a free, uh, framework by yourself and following the uh, basic um, apis it is not that difficult if you know how to read the read the apis and how to follow the you know instructions given on the uh, on the website itself thanks a lot um, hopefully hopefully in future i'll be coming up with uh, 
you know uh, JavaScript. We already did JavaScript, right? So we would be you know covering TypeScript with Selenium Cucumber, and that would be again an interesting uh, video. I'm sorry this video was a bit longer because we had to cover a lot of topics, but obviously if you have any questions or doubts, you can obviously put uh, put that uh, in the comments. Thanks a lot.